Okay, and now we are entering into our third uh, way to solve for a systems of equations. So the third method that we're going to use is called elimination. And uh, pardon me for a second, I'm going to increase the size here so you can see it a little bit better. Again, highlighters, pencils, pen, and uh, using the word elimination is we want to eliminate uh, one of the variables in order to solve for the other. So a little bit of a practice run right now because you're going to eliminate by multiplying. So it says multiply one or both of the following in order to make opposite numbers in the pairs below. So if I have a six and a one, what can I multiply? I can multiply the one by a negative six, and then you have one times a negative six is negative six. And then if we leave the six alone, six, they would be opposite numbers. And that's what we're trying to get so that we can eliminate them. So if we have eight and negative four, we would multiply the negative four by two, and you would get eight and negative eight. Again, we've only had to change multiply one, one term. In this one, a negative two and a positive three, well, we can multiply a negative two times three, and you get a negative six. Multiply three times two, and you get positive six. And they would eliminate themselves. And then on the last one, we have a positive seven and a positive two. Uh, we could multiply the top by a negative two and the bottom by a positive seven. And then we would get negative 14 and positive 14. And again, the ultimate goal is same number, opposite sign. So elimination is typically used when you are given two standard form equations. The goal is to eliminate one set of variables, solve for the other, and use that value to determine the second coordinate. Because again, we are dealing with coordinates. You may have to modify neither one or both equations to solve. So let's get started with some examples. The first example says 2x plus 3y equals 12, and 5x minus 3y equals 9. So what we are looking for is we are looking for opposites in either the x's or the y's. Positive 2, positive 5, they are not opposites. Positive 3y, negative 3y, these are opposites. So what we're going to do is we're going to add both equations together. Positive 2, positive 5 would give us a 7x. The positive 3 and negative 3, they're going to cancel out. And then you have positive 12 and positive 9 would be 21. So our new equation that we're going to solve for our x's is 7x equals 21. Divide by 7, and you get x equals 3. That is our first coordinate. Now we're going to take our x equals 3 and do what we did with uh, when we did substitution. We're going to plug it back into either the top equation or the second equation. It doesn't matter which one you pick. You'll get the same answer. Uh, I'm going to select the top equation. So I'm going to go 2 times 3 plus 3y is equal to 12. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3y is equal to 12. Subtract 6. Cancels here, you get 3y is equal to 6, divide by 3, and you get y is equal to 2. So, our answer for the point where these two equations intersect is 3, comma, 2. That would be our solution. Okay, and I will highlight that. Okay, this one over here on the right side, I would like you to try on your own, and you're going to bring that to class tomorrow, uh, and we'll go over the answer then. The other one that I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to look at this example, <clears throat> and it says x minus 2y equals negative 5, and then I have negative 2x plus 4y equals 10. And I want to get opposites. So uh, I'm going to need to multiply. I'm going to need to multiply the top equation. And it doesn't matter which one you want to eliminate for, the x's or the y's. 
uh, I'm gonna do the x's. So I have a positive one x here and negative two. So if I multiply this equation by two, uh, I should get a positive 2x and a negative 2x, and that'll allow me to eliminate. So I get 2x, and then 2 times a negative 2y would be negative 4y, and then 2 times a negative 5 would be negative 10. So now let's eliminate. So I have negative 2x, positive 2x, and those eliminate. So that gives me a 0. And then I have, ooh, I have a positive 4y and a negative 4y. That gives me a 0. And then we have a positive 10 and a negative 10, and that gives me a zero. Now, if you have something that works out like this, it does happen. When you have the x values eliminate themselves, the y values eliminate themselves, and the coefficient at the end eliminate itself, then you have got an equation uh, that is infinitely many solutions. Okay, and that would be your answer. So as you are doing this, if you get one where the left side eliminates the right side, uh, you get infinitely many solutions. Okay, the last one I would like you to try on your own, and as I look at it, <clears throat> uh, you are going to have to modify just one, and my recommendation is you modify the bottom equation. Okay, good luck with that. Bring those into class tomorrow, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, watch the video again and try to uh, figure it out, and if you have challenges, bring them tomorrow. Have a good day.